This week we'll be going over all of the sign collectibles in Alan Wake for the Bright Falls Aficionado Achievement. There are 25 of these throughout the game, so we're going to go over them chapter by chapter. And, of course, we're going to have the written guide over on our website linked down in the description, so go check that out if that's more your thing. And I've also got a playlist of all my other Alan Wake guides because we're going through everything, all the achievements, all the collectibles, whatever you need, we're doing it. And now, let's get to hunting. The first sign will be at the very end of the first episode. Once you're in the gas station, you can check this sign out at one of the end caps of the aisles. And as you go through this, you may want to be double checking that you're actually getting the collectibles. So to do this, you can just open up your menu, go to statistics, and see your current collectible counts listed there. And that works for every one of the collectibles, so keep that in mind. You'll go through a flashback and then end up in the police station to get sign 2. As you're making your way to the sheriff's office, you'll go through a hallway with a few missing persons posters, and you'll need to check out both the one with the three guys on it, as well as the one to the left of it. Sign 3 you can get once you go through the cutscene before ending up in Elderwood National Park. Once you can move again, you'll want to head over to the giant mammoth display and read the sign in front of it for Bucktooth Charlie. Later in the chapter, you can get Sign 4 as you come up to a wooden bridge with a river below. Rather than heading over to the right where you're supposed to, you're going to head up to the left where it leads to a cave. At the very far back of that cave, you can check out this sign. Sign 5 will be a little bit later on. You're going to be introduced to the brute style of enemy and come up to a large tree with a pathway through the bottom of it. Read the sign that's sitting in front of it for the Great Old One sign. Sign 6 will be even later in the episode. On your way to Lover's Peak, you'll come up to a gate where a tree fell down and mostly blocks your path. Instead of jumping over it, you're going to head to the right, and there's going to be a sign at the end near Picnic Table. Sign 7 will be a while into Episode 3 once you're actually driving to the coal mine. You'll drive for a bit until you finally reach the outside of the mine museum. There's going to be a building in front and a mine over to the left. To the right of that mine, you're going to see two signs that you need to read for this. Sign 8 is later on after you pass through a graveyard area. You'll go across a bridge and to your right you're going to have the Grey Peak Gorge sign. Sign 9 will be after you go on the cable car and fall from birds attacking you. Then you'll run up the hill to the safe haven light and read the sign next to it for the Cauldron Lake sign. Episode 4 will start out and then you grab sign 10 as you follow Dr. Hartman outside. Once you go out there, you can go to the plaque on the giant sundial to read it. Sign 11 is shortly after that once you head back inside. Opposite of the main desk in the middle, you can read a sign by a door that says Creator's Dilemma. Sign 12 is also shortly after that. You'll follow Hartman some more into another hall, and then you can look on the right for a sign that says Welcome to Cauldron Lake Lodge. Sign 13 is going to be a bit later while you're trying to escape the lodge. Once you're outside, you can go up to the statue that's outside in the middle to read the plaque in front. Sign 14 will be a while later into the chapter once you're at Anderson Farm. You'll eventually go into a large barn with your cardboard cutout in front of it. Once you're inside of there, you're going to go up to the second floor and pass the green button that you need to press to move on in the story. And you're going to see the Old Gods of Asgard poster that you need to check out for this sign. You'll go through a bit of this chapter before getting to sign 15, but then you'll have a cutscene and you'll be facing a park. Go up to the large statue for this sign. Sign 16 is shortly after that once you go into the bookstore. Look to the right of the desk and read the paper on the wall for this one. Sign 17 will be after the playground area where you find the church. Read the sign at the entrance of the building for this one. Sign 18 is going to be once you reach a control room before a large bridge. As you exit that, you can read the sign to your right for the bridge memorial. Sign 19 will be after the helicopter is chased off by birds and you come up to the power station doors. This sign will be to the right of the big doors. Sign 20 is going to be at the switch where you have to activate the floodgates. On your left, before you go up there, you're going to see this sign. Sign 21 will be while you're trying to get onto the elevator with Barry and Sarah. You'll need to read the notice sign that's next to the button. Sign 22 is going to be after you've been driving for a bit and you come up to a rest area on your right. There's going to be a big sign that says the Majestic there that you can read. Sign 23 is once you actually reach the Majestic Hotel. Enter in there and read the black sign for this one. 
Sign 24 will be once you drive up to the large blockade near the Larson's Gate. To the right of that gate, going up there, there's going to be a white sign that you need to read before proceeding through. And then the last sign, sign 25, is going to be at the front of the big door that you have to go through to actually enter Larson's. Just over to the left of the door, there's that sign to read. And that's going to be all of these sign collectibles in Alan Wake. If you find our guides helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out this playlist with the rest of our Alan Wake guides.